just have to walk into a room, mate. Okay. Hi. We have Adnan now, so let's get started. Um, first, I'd like to, on behalf of all the DevConf team, I'd like to welcome everyone to DevConf 11. I know a lot of you had long journeys to get here. Um, some of you including long waits at borders to be allowed through. Um, some of you including police escorts from the border to the venue. <laughs> um, I'd also like to thank all those of you who've come from NERA. Um, I know some of you are from Banyaluka itself. And we're happy also to meet you and to um, introduce all of you to our community. Of course, this is actually the 12th DebConf, because being geeks, we start counting at zero. Um, and I've been kind of addicted to DebConf by myself since I stopped West, went first at DebConf 3, which was in Norway. Um, I then got fooled into organizing DebConf 7 in Scotland later on, and then I've kind of stayed involved in the DebConf organizing team since then. So just before I hand over to, oh, is this disappearing off my ear? Um, before I handing over to Adnan for a few words, I want to give you kind of an introduction to where this DebConf came from. Um, so a long time ago, back in the midst of, of DevConf time, um, Safir, who's also at this DevConf, in fact, started working on a, a Bosnian, the idea of a, a Bosnian DevConf. Um, you can see Ganev here appreciating the idea. <laughs> um, but despite looking at various options, somehow it, it never quite worked out at the time. And then um, Safir got kidnapped somehow and taken off to Canada. Um, and it was all kind of looked as if maybe it would just never happen. But then the idea got picked up by Adnan. Um, so you have to understand here one thing. <laughs> so very, once he kind of realized this was something that needed to happen, Adnan got to work and he found a solution to make DevConf happen and to find the kind of compelling bid that couldn't be turned down, couldn't be beaten by anything else. Um, so he started off, he just had the idea and then went around with his sales pitches to various people, which I guess it worked out. Um, <laughs> of course, despite sending um, photos with the president and prime minister and science minister and mayor of Banja Luka and whoever else. Some of us kind of were skeptical. So we're saying, well, yes, they want photos with you, but maybe, maybe they just like how you look or something. I mean, <laughs> we can understand that. But are they actually promising us something concrete here? So, and I went back to work, background the mayor, background the prime minister, background the president, background all these people. Even so, I mean, partly just due to our Cyrillic and our Serbian and Bosnian and Croatian not being that good, um, some of us were still a little skeptical. Um, so probably, actually, really, the main reason we were skeptical in this case is kind of silly, but because it seemed too generous that the government seemed to be promising us so much money and so many things that we're saying, well, either is Adnan just making it up, or e otherwise, what does Adnan promise them? <laughs> Kind of worrying. So, in the end, um, a few months ago, Holger and I um, also came over, um, and we kind of to do a little ch fact checking ourselves. <laughs> I mean, you're still kind of skeptical. Yeah, we've gone to some office, and there's some guy in a big in a smart suit there, and his assistant offered us drinks and biscuits or whatever. But yeah, I mean, anyone can do that. Maybe it's just Adnan's friend who's... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we also, we said, well, come on, we've got to see the venue as well. That's important. <laughs> yeah, so we, we got a tour of the building and so on. We kind of, eventually, we kind of, we're, we're still struggling, struggling to understand how it all worked. And we, we still don't really know what the promises were and how many of us will actually be allowed home at the end of DebConf and yeah, but... <laughs> Um, but anyway, by the, end of the, by the end of this visit, everyone has kind of sorted out that it's, it's working. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, I mean, just before I, I hand over to Adnan to say a few words and to thank the sponsors, um, <laughs> um, I'd like to say thank you to all the local team people. I mean, Adnan's obviously been big here, but there's a lot of other people from the region who've been working on this, so I don't know, maybe all those people can just stand up. And Adnan. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I did pick up the bid. First, for my first Debcom was actually Debcom Seven after we lost bid to Edinburgh, and I was there only as a spectator. I was actually still using Slackware back then. I was trying to do you know maintain packages and all of that, but you would need to go through one guy to upload anything, which was just insane. Then I get to Debcom. And there's this whole community, and then it's the idea struck me, you know, I need to show this in Bosnia, you know, because we have all these great people, really smart people at least, and they don't have a clue about this. And back then, we still couldn't travel and all of that. So we couldn't, you know, go to the world. I said, you know, I'm going to bring the thing over here, you know, Bosnia. And that, that's when idea started. Yeah, as Maurice said, it was yeah, it was a lot of a lot of work. I think in the end, I'll try to write some kind of handbook or something like that for people who are interested in in making Debcom for success in future and all of that. But generally, um, just enjoy Debcom. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> oh right, <laughs> and and I would like to thank our sponsors. Should I list them? Tell them. Okay. Government being our you biggest say, sponsor. Say they are. Amtel, HP, Google, Inaro, Canonical, Sarnet, Arm, all of those people. So, yeah. <laughs> you can see him. I mean. Matanel, Profit Bricks, Thomas Crenn, and Creative. Yeah, thanks. So, yeah. That's all I have to say. So that's it. That's it from us for the introduction session. Welcome to DebConf. Enjoy the conference. The next talk will be here at 12, 11. Um, it will be Stefano, our DPL, about the status of something. of something. Probably Debian or so. <laughs> so have fun. <laughs>